हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर रशीदा कांचवाला फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट पीजी कॉलेज महू इंदौर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मिल्क एंड मिल्क प्रोडक्ट्स फ्रॉम योर पेपर ऑफ फूड साइंस गोइंग थ्रू दिस मॉड्यूल यू विल गेन knowledge about nutritive value of milk you will learn the types composition and nutritional contribution of different types of milk learn to differentiate between different milk products and their handling student all of you have drunk milk of course you are drinking it from the first day of your life and not only you all the mammals use milk as their first food all the mammals feed their newborn until they can independently fed themselves but humans are the species which continue to consume it beyond infancy it uses milk of other animals especially cattle goat sheep buffalo or any other animal as milk at such or in the form of product humans consume it by transforming it in cream butter yogurt ice cream and cheese modern industrial processes has classified milk and transformed it into different minor products like casein whey protein lactose condensed milk milk powder and many other food additives and products of industrial importance before commencing to knowledge about milk products we should know about nutritive value of milk although we have learned about composition and nutritive value of milk in further uh, modules but it is worthy here to have some words about them first and foremost nutrient of importance is calcium which is the mineral needed for strong teeth and bones although most of our foods contain calcium but the milk calcium is the calcium which is easily absorbed on in our body besides calcium phosphorus is also an important constituent of milk which releases energy and with calcium provides strong teeth and bone milk is also fortified vitamin a and d to function is in provided vision growth and strong bones milk is a good source of macronutrients 
it has got protein carbohydrates and fats in them the protein of milk is casein lactalbumin and lactoglobulin the milk fat content differs as per type and amount of processing milk is a good source of carbohydrate milk contains lactose which is a unique carbohydrate found only in milk students we you have very well known different constituents of milk but these constituents are no fixed in amount their amount differs in milk as respect with the type of protein proportion of protein type and amount of fat amount of sugar level of different vitamins and minerals and size of fat globules students any specific milk may be found in different varieties milk can be produced in different varieties by addition of different additives that is color flavor nutrients the degree of addition provides different type of milk milk can also be grouped into varieties as per farming method that is normal farming or certified farming method milk is also grouped as per fat content there may be whole milk partially skim milk double toned milk or fat free milk homogenization is another technique which provides variety in milk milk may be present present as homogenized and unhomogenized in the market milk is also available as no lact milk or lactose free milk which is used for the person which has lactase insufficiency type of mammal of course decides variety of milk milk of cow buffalo goat or sheep has different characteristics you must have known about the milk of camel which is very rich in lactose and have got sharp sweet taste milk is also varied as per type of heat treatment we can have milk which are thermized pasteurized sterilized or ultra heat treated or filtered filtration process removes all the microorganisms from milk besides variation in above mentioned parameters milk can be classified as per various other norms milk of a particular animal differs as per species or strain we know that some species of cows gives rich milks while some other species gives low fat milk season or weather has also effect on composition of milk milk in 
winters have more fat than in summers similarly a stage of lactation of animal also has effect on composition of milk animals produce colostrum or thick milk after within a week of gestation this thick milk is generally a high protein milk but it can't be heated because heating causes its coagulation composition of animal diet also affects composition of milk especially amount of fat is dependent on it from accompanying flow chart we can see that the raw milk can be changed into different types raw milk is first standardized and separated this separation forms cream cream when heat treated and churns churned changes to butter and in butter making process a by product is obtained that is butter milk butter when heated provides ghee raw milk if not separated and it is taken for clotting it forms curd and curd can be eaten at such as yogurt and whey or if curd is ripened it can be eaten as cheese students after knowing basics of milk now we come to milk products milk can be divided into different products as per type and amount of extracts or type and amount of processing the chief milk products are fresh milk products creams milk products with water removed fermented milk products non fermented milk products and milk isolates let we learn about different milk products when milk is consumed as fresh milk it may be fresh whole milk pasteurized milk homogenized milk or flavored milk fresh whole milk generally contains 3.5% fat 8.5% solids which are milk proteins milk sugar and minerals and approximately 88% water milk may also be consumed as reduced fat milk reduced fat milks have partial or total fat removal from them as per amount of fat they can be low fat milk which contains 2 to 0.5% fat non fat milk which contains less than 0.5% fat and double toned milk which comes in between these two varieties we can have homogenized milk which has l- small fat globules these globules are 
formed by forcing milk through tiny holes which breaks up the fat particles as per flavored milk we have previously described that many type of flavorings can be added to milk yummy tasty such as strawberry chocolate butterscotch etc if milk is not to be consumed at such its cream can be removed by separation according to fat content many creams are available in the market whipping creams are the first and foremost creams which has got 30 to 40% fat whipping cream can be further divided into two parts light whipping cream which has got 30 to 35% fat and heavy whipping cream which has got 36 to 40% fat second time of cream according to fat content is table cream which has got 18 to 30% fat this cream is sometimes termed as light cream or coffee cream third type of cream in the market is half and half which has got 10 to 18% fat in it if milk is not to be consumed immediately it can be preserved for a longer time by partial or complete removal of water from it addition of sugar along with removal of water also preserves milk for a long time main products in this category are concentrated milk as the name implies milk solids are concentrated in it by partial removal of water from it second category is evaporated milk which has total water removal from it third category is sweetened condensed milk as the name implies this milk contains sugar in it we can say it is a concentrated milk in which sugar is added similarly non fat milk can also be converted into powder to make non fat dry milk powder or whole milk can be con- converted into powder to make a dried whole milk powder after learning transformation of fresh milk into different products now we come to products which can be made by fermentation of milk or cream main products in this category are yogurt butter milk sour cheese cream fritche and cheese students before commence, commencing to fermented milk products let we have a look on fermenting process fermenting process uses milk lactose to change it into lactic acid with the help of bacteria and yeast microorganisms of various kind ingest 
lactose to release lactic acid as a waste production of lactic acid results in a heightened acidity of milk this increased acidity causes milk proteins to curdle and these curdled milk proteins produces various products like yogurt cheese sour cream and different other fermented foods fermentation of milk increases its shelf life enhances its taste and improves its digestibility fermentation is a beneficial process which poses good health effects to us let we see what are that lactobacillus acidophilus lactobacillus gg lactobacillus reuteri has beneficial effects in reducing diarrhea from infections like shingela or rota virus or from the effects of antibiotics similarly l acidophilus and l casei inhibits h pylori bacterium bifido brevi prevents diarrhea and bifido bifidum prevents rota virus diarrhea from accompanying table we can know the effects of milk on our health we can see fermentation increases lactic acid levels in the milk increase in lactic acid in milk decreases lactose content in milk and reduced lactose content reduces bad bacteria incidentally it causes stoppage of diarrhea and bloating improves gut health retains and protects us bacterial infections and helps in digesting remaining lactose in fermented milk second effect of fermentation is breakdown of proteins into shorter chain proteins this changes casein peptides and whey peptides functional properties resultantly there is an easy digestion of protein and pain relief effects with immune enhancing properties third effect of fermentation is increased acidity which results in sharpness of taste of milk and resultant prevention of growth of harmful bacteria in milk let we come to fermented products one by one the first fermented milk product is yogurt yogurt is a semi solid fermented milk products 
एंड इट कंटेंस मिल्क एंड बैक्टीरिया योगर्ट इज अ मार्वलस मिल्क प्रोडक्ट विच कैन बी सर्व एट सच विथ फ्रूट्स एंड आफ्टर ऑल आफ्टर फ्रीजिंग सेकेंड फर्मेंटेड मिल्क प्रोडक्ट इज वे वे इज द मिल्क प्लाज्मा दैट इज इट इज द लिक्विड विच रिमेन्स इन द मिल्क आफ्टर कर्डल्ड पोर्शन ऑफ मिल्क इज टेकन आउट फ्रॉम इट वे इज समाइम यूज एज ए स्टार्टर इन प्रोडक्शन ऑफ सम टाइप ऑफ चीजेस ऑल्सो इट कैन ऑल्सो बी एडेड इन मेनी प्रोसेस्ड फूड to increase their nutritive value and to provide bacterial culture the products which use whey as their ingredients are breads crackers commercial pastries and animal feeds third fermented milk product is butter milk ideally butter milk is the liquid that remains after butter has been churned this liquid when exposed to air catches bacteria and gets fermented to a liquid which we know is butter milk fermentation provides it a slightly sour acidic flavor that is its typical quality and for which we consume butter milk nowadays butter milk which is available in supermarkets is actually a cultured product created from ordinary skim milk that's been fermented and pasteurized although the buttermilk which is available local vendor shops is ideally a by product of butter making fourth fermented milk product is sour cream and cream fraiche sour cream is the cream which is cultured and fermented by lactic acid bacteria it has got nearly 18% fat content cream fraiche is the sour cream which is slightly aged it is generally heavy cream having more fat content cream fraiche is generally consumed as such it doesn't required any tempering the last fermented milk product is cheese cheese is made by addition of bacteria and or acids that is along with bacteria acids may or may not be added or along it may be made alone by addition of acids addition of these things produces acid in the milk which coagulates milk protein this coagulated mass is further processed to be consumed and stored for a long time we will learn about cheese in our further modules in detail 
after knowing fermented milk products now let we learn about non fermented milk products the chief non fermented milk products are khoa products made with milk fat products made with milk proteins and isolates and ice creams let we learn them about one by one khoa which is a most cherished milk product in indian cooking we can say indian sweets are incomplete without the mention of khoa is made either by dried whole milk or milk thickened by heating for khoa making milk is heated in an iron pan at a temperature of 80 degree centigrade heating of milk at this temperature gradually vaporizes its water content and leaves a coagulated solid in milk which is known as khoa khoa is generally a 1/5 concentrated volume of original milk second non fermented milk product is butter as we have already seen in flow chart that separation of milk results in cream and when cream is churned butter is formed butter is essentially the fat of milk it is salted to keep down microbial action butter contains nearly 80 to 82 percent fat 15.6 to 17.6 percent water 1 percent salts along with this it also contain some proteins nearly 1.2 percent other solids which are proteins calcium and phosphorus butter when made to be heated turns into clarified butter or ghee clarified butter or ghee is free from water and it is a concentrated form of milk fat which has got a typical flavor and texture of milk fat students after going through different fermented and non fermented milk products now we come to different industrial preparations of milk chief of them are milk protein isolates milk protein isolates are the substances which are obtained by the partial removal of sufficient non protein constituents from skim milk this skim milk is then dried and this dry powder contains nearly 90% protein by weight that is to produce milk protein isolate non protein part of milk is first isolated and then the remaining milk is powdered and dried to form it or milk protein isolates may also be produced by 
माइक्रो फिल्ट्रेशन अल्ट्रा फिल्ट्रेशन और डाय फिल्ट्रेशन दैट इज डायलिसिस ऑफ मिल्क टू रिमूव इट्स लैक्टोस बेसिकली मिल्क प्रोटीन आइसोलेट्स कंटेंट्स केजिन एंड वे प्रोटीन एंड द प्रपोर्शन ऑफ केजिन एंड वे प्रोटीन इन दीज आइसोलेट्स इज मच हायर देन इन ओरिजिनल मिल्क द लास्ट मिल्क प्रोडक्ट इज आइसक्रीम आइसक्रीम is usually made from milk and cream it may have fruits flavorings colors and other substances like preservatives and emulsifiers added into it it also contains different sweeteners like sucrose corn syrup can sugar beet sugar and or artificial sweeteners to provide a sweet taste we all cherish ice cream yes it is ice cream you ice cream and that is ice cream students after completion of this module you must have been well acquainted with nutritional qualities and types of milk product you know it very well that milk is a food with ample nutrients in it because fresh milk is perishable due to presence of microorganisms in it it can be converted into various products which can be consumed for a long time conversion of milk into different products not only preserves it for a long time but also adds variety in our diet thank you